A friend of mine would describe me as atypical, or atypical Chinese American. They just you're just atypical. Period. You know what strikes me that's different than a number of Chinese Americans and Asian Americans is that I, I I'm not afraid to take chances. And my father was like that. Um, when my father was um, young, I guess during the 1930s, when he was in his 20s, he was five foot two. And he would dance with a six-foot blonde at a nightclub. So, and, and that's that's who I am. John was just two years old when his father died in a mid-air plane crash over the Grand Canyon. I didn't know my who my father was, um, except that he had a PhD and he was a chemical engineer. And um, I also I'm also a descendant of a paper son, and so my grandfather was a paper son. And I didn't know what that, what the meaning of a paper son is, and so that's what I'm trying to explore: is who John Jang is. Part of it is that recovery of the Chinese American history, which was erased, or the recovery of my father's history, and discovering it in a new way. So through music, John found his style of music when he was 19. So 1973. I attended Keystone Corner, which was a jazz club in San Francisco in North Beach area. And I heard the music of Rasan Roland Kirk, and it transformed me. And I was a student at University of California at Berkeley. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So um, UC Berkeley was a large school, and I kind of felt alienated. Um, and when I heard the music of Rasan Roland Kirk, I, I wanted to be in, I mean, music was my life, became my life. John left UC Berkeley and began to study piano. Despite his late start, he graduated from the prestigious Oberlin Conservatory of Music. Well, when I was a student at Oberlin, Wendell Logan, professor of African American music, was like a father figure towards me. And through my study and experience uh, working with him, I learned about African American music. And so, you know, that helped inspire me to study Chinese American history and to explore the Chinese folk songs. See, I embrace these, this history. I not only embrace it, but um, you know, I feel passionate about it. As a jazz pianist and composer, John has performed with some of the biggest names in music and has traveled the world playing concerts in Europe, South Africa, China, and the United States. John hopes to continue his musical journey for as long as he lives. Duke Ellington was writing music on his deathbed, or Akira Kurosawa. He was making films till he like, was in his 80s. So I think as an artist, you, you continue to create and create. I really want to explore the depth of, of not only the history, but also of who I am. So when I compose a work, it is a recovery of the history, but it's also a discovery of not only of that history, but it's a, a discovery of myself. So for me, the journey wasn't about trying to make a career or to being famous. I love the music, how it made me feel, and it's something that's going to be with me for the rest of my life.